You're a goofball. Welcome back to the channel once again. How's your day going? Ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm working on my collaboration with Diamond Art Addiction, Sister Addiction. So, today's going to be random talk about whatever's on our mind. There's a lot on my mind I ain't gonna speak because... Yeah, I just ain't gonna speak it because I'm bigger than that. So, I hope you guys have a whip in front of you. Get some work done. Trying to get the hustle on. This uh, squirrel collab with sister because the 20th, 3rd, 24th, 25th, whatever the date is that we want to be done with this is right around the corner. And I'm going to be busy during the weekends with hunting. So I got to put the afterburners on per se. So, I've had some people come to me and ask me, why is my intro so long? It's cute seeing Trapper and all, but you got too long of an intro. Well, I'm sorry. That's, that's the kind of intro I liked. You are watching my video, right? So... I have taken into consideration after looking at it, it was a 30 second intro, I was like, alright, that might be a little bunch. So, I have cut it back, I'm still working on it, I'm thinking about adding, uh, if I can pull it off, it'll be cool because it'll be Trapper and Mary, I just gotta see if I can pull it off. <clears throat> And then, uh, I'll have that, and I'll probably make an outro out of it, too. Try to keep them short and sweet. Uh, it's either hot or it's cold right now. It's like that in-between weather. It's cold outside, but it's warm in the house. It's, uh... It's in the process of raining out there. It, no, it's in the process of coming down like a banshee out there. It's going to be for the next day or so. It's going to pour. Which is awesome sauce for me because hunting season's coming. Rain puts the deer into motion. They start moving. And oh, guess what? I gotta go hunting. And they'll be out and easy physical access. And get me a buck. Get your lights up there. Why did I not straighten that last time? I don't have a clue. But. Work has been... Steadily picking back up. It has... I don't know. Summers are always slow for us at work. Print shop, summertime, it's slow. No matter what print shop you're at. It's slow. We're finally starting to work our way back up. So we got got some jobs coming in. I mean... We had jobs throughout the the week or the few months of summer, but not as busy as we usually is. We usually have jobs coming out of our ears. 
Summertime, everybody's on vacations. And not wanting to print anything. But it's kind of nice having a couple of months out of the year where it's not so busy. And then the rest of the like eight months out of the year is busier and crap. Not particularly fond of it, but keeps me busy. That's all that matters. So what you guys working on? I can't wait to finish this so I can start that uh, witch house. That's going to be fun. I need to find, I don't know, I have some orders I need to put in with Treasure Studios Arts because there's a couple things I want. I just been trying to get bills paid, caught up taken care of. It's just been a slow summer. You don't get paid as much. So, slowed me down a little bit. And then, trying to fix a vehicle and having a YouTube channel, it's, it's kind of hard. Because not like everybody thinks everybody's just going to send you stuff all the time. I don't expect anybody to send me anything, but if there is a few select people out there that do have my address, and sometimes they just say, hey, you got something coming. I'm like, okay, nothing I can say about it because it's already on the, in the way, on the way. But... It's always generous if you guys do, but it's not mandatory. Whoa. Hold the open end of the tray up, not down. I almost spilt the drills. And I'm not so talkative tonight because I'm like really sore. Like <sighs> stacking wood has kicked my butt. I'll show you guys here in a minute the wood that I have stacked. And then I got a package to open up sometime too. It's squirrely. Get up there. Uh, get off of there. All right, let me grab this phone real quick. Find some pictures.
Oh, I found a video. Those are four rows deep from floor to roof tall. There's a lot of firewood there. And that cubby's about half. There's that pile, plus there's another cubby on the other side that is um, kindlings. I've been a stack and foo. We still got a lot of firewood to split and stack. We still have like, I think eight trees on the property that still need to be cut down because they're dead. We, our property sits in a, uh, I wonder if this does not sit right. It's two diamonds stuck together. Uh, our property is got a natural spring runs through it. So, it's always wet over there on that side of the property, which is right over here by my property, by my house. It's always wet, so, I think the problem is it's always so wet right there because of the natural spring that it's killing those trees from so much water. Because we've lost like 12 trees in that general area. It's been fun, but, oh, and I didn't even show you what I stacked on my porch. My porch, got two rows, pine and oak, bunch of cedar for kindling. Got the smoker sitting over there. Ooh, yeah. This year we're gonna break out the the burn pit. Burn pile, burn pit, whatever you wanna call it. I got a big one sitting in my backyard. Whenever we get together, family occasions, we'll have a fire out back. And sit around. Have a good time. It's been a while since I've had a party or anything out here. Haven't used it. I think the last time I used it was last winter. On the cold days, if I'm out working in the yard, doing stuff, I'll go start a fire so I can walk up to it. And get warm off of it because I get cold easy. I like the heat. 80 to say like 100 degrees. I'm perfect. Don't like the cold. Part of the reason why my body probably hurts so bad right now because the cold weather has moved in. We're getting rains earlier than we got last year, so looking promising. Our lake is actually pretty good for the time of the year it is. And we haven't even we're just now starting to get rain. We got rain a couple days. Uh day before yesterday we got a little bit of rain. Get off there. But everything's looking really good for the time of the year that it is and not getting hardly any rain. Well, there was like two times that it actually rained pretty good. 
So, I guess, because it, I don't remember how many inches it was, but it was a decent amount of rain. And then, here soon, my yards will all start turning green. It'll be nice. I need to get the rotor tiller out and rotor tiller my yard. But I don't have to get the rotor tiller out anymore because the tractor is fixed. The, uh,. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I had a girl moment. <laughs> I don't even know what the, the girl moment. Oh. So, on the, the tractor to the... Uh, to the rotor tiller attachment on the back that skims off like four inches of dirt and just rotor tillers like four inches of dirt it the pto shaft that was on it was too long so they had to shorten the shaft <laughs> i don't know why that's so funny so when we took the auger off and hooked up the backhoe or not backhoe the rotor tiller attachment, and when we ran the rotor tiller, it was like, <laughs> and we're like, what the hell's that? And we thought it was one of the chains on the inside was uh, clacking or something, and then we never took it to the shop because the tractor was due for its so many hour maintenance to keep up the warranty we have to do this otherwise it could void the warranty if we don't do it but it's good that we do do it because we know the tractor is a-okay from top to bottom And we'll get that bad boy back. We already started digging out the pond some more. Hopefully this year will be a good sized pond. It's about... I'll have to show you guys some pictures one day. When it uh, fills up. Which I'm sure... With the rain coming. And there's a natural flowing creek. That goes right down to the uh, pond. It's a uh, it fills up quick. But my dad went down and dug up a bunch of the pond to uh, make it bigger. So he was just digging it up, throwing the dirt off the side, digging it up, throwing the dirt off the side. We've always wanted a big pond, but never ha really had one. We've been digging on it for years. It's finally turned into a pond. It's just been a shadow, shallow puddle for a long time. Shallow puddle. Get in there. So yeah, it's just been a long time working on that project. Yeah, you guys are just getting like squirrely me, just, just rambling on over here. I took some uh, leaves, so... I ain't feeling nothing right now. Because when I got home from work, I was, I was hurting. I quit.
Ugh. I just like totally squirreled. What was I talking about? Wow. It's got like super hot all of a sudden. That's weird. Anyways, I guess I'll just find something else to talk about. I was just talking about farm life. So, oh, that was the pond. That's right. So hopefully this year the pond will be a good sized pond. And we actually get some well we have we've had ducks on it every year we have honkers you guys are probably like what's a honker i call a canadian goose a canadian honker i call them honkers trapper knows them as honkers trapper can hear them from a mile away and I can look at him and see what direction he is sitting in and tell where they're coming from he's that good and he'll sit there frozen solid waiting for them and they fly right over the top of my house oh You dirty dogs tempt me, but I don't shoot. I have my neighbors too close for that. I mean, my neighbors. Probably two football fields from me, but that's still too close, especially if it's aiming in his direction. It could hit his house, it could hit his car, it could hit one of his grandkids. I ain't gonna take that chance. Although he does. He's a moron. I fight with him all the time. He moved up here from the city and has nothing, has no idea of how country works because he's been city his whole life he comes up he comes over to my house me and my dad are in my yard mowing and weed eating he walks in my yard and that was his last mistake because Trapper was only six months old and he about Chewed that guy's ass off. He's like, oh fuck, I didn't know you had a big dog. You didn't hear him barking at you when you were pulling in? You don't hear him barking at you when you're over there shooting your gun on my property? Oh, I'm shooting ground squirrels. I don't care what you're shooting. Don't shoot your gun in the direction of my property. Or I will return fire. He goes, what? I, go, I will return fire. Because there was a couple of times I was out in the yard with my dog. And I'm hearing bullets whiz by me. And I'm like, you God bless the American. He comes over again to talk to me. Because every time he shoots his gun. Yeah, we live in the county. We can shoot guns, no biggie. We don't really shoot guns on our property unless it's a necessity. If there is a skunk or a, a cougar or a bear, anything like that, we will shoot. Raccoons, any of that. I will shoot. If it's necessity. Necessi 
the necessity. But that's it. He shoots to kill ground squirrels. He's like, these godforsaken ground squirrels. He's like, do you have problems with ground squirrels? I said, yeah. He goes, what do you do for it? I said, I sit out there with my dog in a freaking lounge chair with my freaking gun rest and my pellet gun with pellets and I sit out there and plop them off as they come up on top of the wood stump that's in my yard. It, how far away is that? I said, it's 30 yards, sir. He goes, there's no way you're hitting that ground squirrel at 30 yards. So you want to make a bet? He goes, yeah, I bet you five bucks you can't hit it. I said, make it worth my while. Make it 20. And he goes, uh, let me see what I got. He's like, all right, I got 20. So we sat there for about five minutes. I hear Trapper cry. And then all of a sudden I see a squirrel pop up on the stump. Trapper, he he knows them little bastards. These squirrels we kill because they live in the ground. And we have cows and goats. We've had cows break their legs. We've had horses break their legs because of these godforsaken little filthy varmints that we can't get rid of. So, we shoot them. Get rid of them. He decides he's going to move up here from the city and start shooting. And when he sees one on my property, he starts shooting my way. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not how that works, bud. We had a discussion, and he's like, no. He's like, I wasn't shooting at you. Because I, I pulled up to his house with my with my gun and my, my waistband in its holster. And it was sticking out. And I was like, are you shooting at me over there, bud? And he says, no, I was shooting at a ground squirrel. And I said, yeah, I understand that. And you were shooting at that ground squirrel on my property. Because the bullet, I heard it go by me, about 20 feet from me, and hit something. And he goes, I thought I hit the squirrel. I go, no, I seen the squirrel run off. Don't shoot your gun at my property. But we're going to have more than words. And then he seen my gun. He's like, oh. You got to act big and bad. Come over here with the gun. I go, I come over here with the gun because you have a gun. I'm protecting myself. If you have an issue with that, then that's fine. Uh, let's see. 780. So, we haven't had a very good uh, relationship. There's been quite a few times where he's just walked over to my house and walked in my backyard. And I about shot him. Trapper about ate him. Trapper don't like the guy. Trapper... About eats him every time he comes over. He just walks in my yard. He doesn't even say anything. He's never learned since the first day he's moved in. He's an older guy, so he thinks, "Oh, it's the county. It's the city. It's not the city. I, I'm in the. I'm in the country. I just walk into your house and I go, fuck you if you can.' I don't think so, bud. One day he opened my front door and I was like, excuse me, as I pull a 12 gauge up to his face. I'm like, what the hell do you think you're doing? You don't do that around here. I'm teaching you a lesson right here because you're going to do it to somebody and somebody's going to shoot you. And that's when I stepped him outside and I was like, dude, 
knock on my door. I said, do you do that in the city? In LA, where you're from? And he goes, yeah. I go, maybe to your friends, but not some locos. You don't know people. Dude was crazy. Still is crazy. I still have issues with him. But he, he's gotten kind of cool, I guess. He's talked to my dad a couple of times. He's given us a bunch of stuff. So we've kind of worked out our differences, but he just had a lesson to learn. You just don't walk into somebody's house. And he's like, oh, I'm in the country. I'm like, dude, it don't matter. I guarantee you didn't do that back home in L.A. Because you would be shot. And I guarantee it, he ain't going to do it again here. Oh, so I've like completely scrolling over here around and blah, 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 blah. Tired of titty baby fucking whiners. I'm telling you what. Sorry. I'm I'm like extremely biting my tongue right now because there is so much I just want to blow up right now but I ain't gonna let it get to me it's it's not worth it it's not worth my time it's not worth my effort Alright, I'm making a drink, and we're going to open a package. I'm not going to let those stupid shit get me down. Okay. So I got a package. This package. Whoa, whoa. Stay up there. This package comes from... KK's Unique Diamond Painting Pins. Over there on Facebook. Join our group. I'll have everything linked down below. I'm trying to cut the address off because I don't want it to be showed. And my crazy butt sometimes shows stuff, so. Before I forget to cover this, let me cover it. Oh. Where's that? Huh. I don't know where it went. Oh well. So, we got a package from KK. If you guys don't know, that is Karen Doss. And, uh, she has a Facebook group. I will link everything down below. 
Karen is the awesomest, awesomest pin lady. Love Karen's pins. She has also started a Facebook, or not a Facebook, oh good lord, she already has a Facebook. She has started her own YouTube channel. So, I'll try to remember to link that down below as well. If I remember the name. What was the name? Alright, so I'm going to... Drop that down because I got some goodies here. Oh, they're stuck to the package. Get off the package. Empty package. Look at the clips. How cute. Always using clips, so those will come in handy for sure. Karen, how do you package all this stuff in this? Oh. What is that like? I guess let's have a little big koala, a mama koala. Little post it notes. Cute, cute. Thank you so much. Jeremy, thank you so much. Please enjoy. Much love, Karen. All right, where do we want to start? So, oh, one's a regular pin. Nice. I didn't notice that. I was wondering why one was long. Nice. So I got little witch house. It goes with my painting I got yesterday and then I got a ah, 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 ah. little baggies are so cute ah, 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 ah. it's for my hollow mess and I get a My favorite part, I have a couple of these now. Macaroon, put your wax. Works perfect for wax. Oh, okay, I put the cover over. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Yeah, I'm a potty mouth boy, who cares? Whoa, shnikes. Whoa, good magnets. Good magnets. My favorite is part of the whole order. Squirrel! Finally got an actual squirrel. Because I have this. I always called it a squirrel. But 
To me, it looks like a beaver. And then this is a squirrel as well. Oh, squirrely, squirrely, squirrely. He's got himself a little canker shift. Canker shift. Hanker shift. Cute, cute, cute. No, don't, don't stick together. Oh, Karen, these are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I like it. And thank you so much for the 1010. Wonder if you could change the pin out. Probably not. I like blue, but that's okay. I'm okay with the black pin. Let me get into this last package. Hopefully. It's all intact. And the lovely post office didn't beat it up. All right, where's this? Where's the end? I don't see the end. Oh, there it is. Oh, snap, it's double wrapped. Hold on, y'all. He made it all in one piece. Oh my goodness, I think he's my new favorite. Too stinking cute. Oh my gosh, Karen. Too stinking cute. So I had a good order here to me. This this is well worth it. I got the regular writing pen, which that's gonna be nice. I can find it. Be like, oh, hey, look at there's the pen. Diamond pen. Whoa. Calm your jets over here, squirrels. I got diamond painting pen. My favorite color, teal. I got the squirrel. Um, I'm gonna name you I think I'm gonna go with the name my sister picked, Nutter Butter. She picked Nutter Butter for the canvas and I think he might just be Nutter Butter too. Or by himself. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. So I got that. And I got the squares. I love this one with little handkerchief. He's cute. Alright, let's see if I can do this without them popping. Squirrels. And two Halloween minders. Clippies. A little notepad and a macaroon. Well 
well worth it. Thank you so much, Karen. You are the best. I'll have everything linked down below. Please go show her some love. All of her Facebook. Um, which one do I want to use first? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Too many choices. Too many choices. He wants to sit up. Uh, that's funny. There it goes. Okay. Back to the regular video. Video star. How that song go? Who killed the radio star? That's right. Who killed the radio star? Whoa, I'm gonna be jumping around over here and get Trapper out. Oh. Whoa. A witchy house. All right. Yeah. I like that now. Let's get some wax in this new pin over here. Let's give her some shots. Got that one good enough. Let's get uh, Mr. Nutter. Oh. Who killed the radio star? I don't know why I'm saying it. So I'm going to start with this guy. I'm not the biggest fan of single placing. I'm a multi-placer kind of person. But there's some paintings you just need a squirrel. All right, so I got some goodies. Nice. I seen KK had squirrels and I was like, oh, uh, in squirrels. I love squirrels. Yeah. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Sometimes I like single placing with squares. Anyways. So. I don't know. What I'm going to do for a video for Thursday. Um. Wednesday, well, tomorrow, today, 
you guys are watching this. It's today, Wednesday. Durr. Um, I'm doing this, of course. And then... Uh... Uh, like, what the heck, brain? <sighs> so yeah, uh, my brain just like farted. <laughs> uh, squirrel, I lost like all concentration just went out the window. So yeah, so. Squirrel. Um, tomorrow, today, you guys are watching it. Oh, good God. Um, Thursday, I don't know what I'm going to do for a video yet. I might not do one. I might just take the day off. Depends on if something comes in. If I have a video to make. And then... Friday, y'all be ready for Friday video. I don't know how often I'm going to do a cooking video, if it's going to be random. I'm going to try to do it on Fridays, because Becky's Madness for Crafts does Monday, so I was like, I'll do the end of the week. And not every week I'm going to do a cooking video. Maybe random. It may be once a month. It may be every other week. I'm not sure yet. I haven't fully decided of what I'm doing. Right now I have two videos that have been requested. Uh, the first one is deep fried ice cream. I've had a lot of people ask about that. And then the second video is, I'm going to show you guys how to make mush. So that'll be good. That's going to be a long video. Because it's a process. It is a process. And then, I don't know. I'm up for the suggestions. Um, I don't know. We'll see. You guys have any suggestions for a cooking video? Leave them down below. If it's something that I can do, I will do it. Try to do it at least my way. So, I need a drink. I hope to have this portion done by the weekend and then start elsewhere there's a lot of color blocking so it's gonna be easier than down here in the nut pile. The nut pile there's a, a quite a bit more confetti but uh, we'll get, get her worked up. I haven't Monday Tuesday, I didn't diamond paint. I played Xbox. I didn't feel like diamond painting. I needed a break. I kind of felt like I was getting burned out. Um, I have so much going on right now. I don't know if I'm coming or if I'm going. I'm still doing my... Um, beaded cross stitch, 
I haven't gotten very far on it, to be honest. I've got a couple rows done. I should start getting back on that again. And then my paint by number, I'm probably not going to do a paint by number this week. Paint by number, I don't know. I don't know what my schedule is going to be yet. Right now I'm just kind of throwing videos up as I have them. It happens to be almost on a daily basis, but I should spread it out and only do videos twice a week or something. I don't know. I put my poll up on YouTube. You guys picked you wanted to see a video on Wednesday, which I already have a video on Wednesday, so and that's this until this is done. And then my whip and chat will probably change to a different day. I used to do my whip and chats on Mondays. I don't like doing my whipping shots on Mondays because if I'm gone for a long weekend and I have to come back, I'm like, uh, I've got to do, I've got to record an hour whipping chat tonight. And I'm like dead tired. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do it. So that's why I kind of went away from Mondays. I may go to Tuesdays. I don't know yet. I'm squirrely. I haven't figured out what the heck to do. Because once winter fully comes, I'm going to be more open to working on projects. I'm actually, um, me and Diamond Art Addiction have been talking about doing uh, Indian beading again. Or I've done it in the past. And she's been talking about doing it I seen she got a bunch of goodies today. I found my bead loom, so I'm excited about that. But I can't find any beads, so I'm on the hunt for some beads. I found a, a big box of beads, or not a big box, but a big thing of beads, like a ton of beads. And it's got needles and threads and tweezers and clasps and hooks and it's got everything that you need to get started, and it's like 30 bucks. But it, there's a shit pot of beads. So I'm probably going to get that to start out with. And then I'll be showing you guys Native American beading. I haven't done it in forever. I, I was pissed because I couldn't find my loom, and... I was searching through boxes in my room, and I'm like, I can't find it. No, I have it. So I went out to the shop, and I, there's like, I have like seven or eight boxes in the shop. And I went out there, and sure enough, there's my loom. It's like, sweet. I don't have to buy a loom. I would have just made one, because you could just make it super easy. Or you can buy an expensive one, which you don't really need. You can buy a a, t a ten dollar loom from Michaels or Hobby Lobby, and it works just fine. Your biggest part is what I always when I was doing it. My biggest thing was was figuring out the pattern, what you wanted to make, and how you wanted your pattern to go. Once you have that, the rest is pretty, pretty simple. I don't remember how I tied it to the clasp, so I might have to relearn that again, which I doubt is very hard. So I guess we're going to call it uh, the night. For me, a day for you, or it could be a night for you. You don't know where you're from. So, I never even told you what I'm working on, I don't think. I don't know. I've been all over the place today. Like, swirling, squirreling, squirreling. So, I am working on Treasure Studios Arts. It is my collab with Sister 
Dominant addiction. I call her sister addiction. This is a limited edition painting. It is only available for the time of this collaboration. Once the collab is done, bye bye. Gone. So if you want it, get it now because you ain't going to get a chance to get it later. Just saying. You can use Sister Addiction's link, which is DAA15, or you can use my link or my code, our codes, Jeremy15. And we both have affiliate links, and they're both. Uh, on our channels or in our videos I know mine's linked down below sisters might be linked down there I can't remember there's so much stuff linked down there there's my Facebook group there's Instagram uh Treasure Studios Art Affiliate, this diamond painting, and the one that Sister is doing. And I, th I think that's it, but I could, could be wrong. There's a lot linked down there. So check it out. And uh, just want to tell you guys, never be afraid to message me. It... I'll answer unless it's disrespectful or something, then I will not answer it. I was flipping my pen around because I wanted to use a multi-placer, but darn it, don't have a multi-placer. So yeah, just, just to let you know, if anything's on your mind or if you have a problem with me, please email me, message me anywhere you can. Let's talk about it because I bring peace. I don't have anything else to bring to anybody. So I think that's going to do it for us. So as always, remember peace and treat each other how you want to be treated. And I hope you get that same respect back. Later, y'all. Have a great day.